Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Triple S Theta, day nine. Today, I am going to be doing a recipe for you. Finally, <laughs> it is a meatloaf with roasted potatoes, but I'm going to do it in the crock pot. So, I will put it together and put it in the slow cooker. It'll take all day, but I promise it won't be hours of video. It'll only be a few minutes. And I will get started now. Oop, there goes my phone. And um, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we have our... For this one, I'm using ground round because it is in the crock pot. And I don't want a lot of grease. So... Next, I'm going to salt and pepper it some. A little salt, a little pepper. Then I'm going to add two large eggs to it. Next, I am adding a packet of soup mix, an in soup mix. There's that. Then I'm going to add about oh a quarter cup ketchup. Then I'm going to add about a uh, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I don't measure. This is a good guesstimate. You can put whatever you want in it, however you make your own meatloaf. I never make it the same way twice. Then I'm adding some brown spicy mustard to it. This happens to be horseradish mustard. You if you don't want to use mustard, that's fine too. Then I have, I'm going to use about a cup of Italian style breadcrumbs. And here comes the good part. You mix it all together. I'm going to use my hand. I know I shouldn't, but this way I've always done it. I haven't died yet. But you need to be as careful as you can. Get everything mixed up. Really, really good. Okay. It seems to be a little wet still, so I'm going to add some more breadcrumbs to it. Get it nice and stiff. So I'm going to add about another quarter cup to it. And a little more salt. And a little more pepper. Yeah, that feels a little better. You don't want it hard, but you want it stiff. So, that's what we're doing. Mix it up real well. Squeeze it through your fingers. Get it all in there. This is the way I was taught to make meatloaf. So, And I'm 50 years old, like I said, and I haven't died from food poisoning of a meatloaf yet. But you need to make sure your hands are very clean. Okay. Now that that's mixed all up real well, next we're going to add it to our crock pot. The next thing you want to do is line your crock pot, your slow cooker, with aluminum foil. That way, when it's time for it to come out, all you have to do is lift it out. That easy. So, I add my meatloaf to it. Oh. Drop it down in there. 
then I'm going to mash it down a little bit so it'll be one solid chunk. Okay. Now I'm going to cook it mine on low for about six to eight hours since it is two and a half pounds. I'm going to add some potatoes to it. I'll do that right now. Okay, here I have two large baking potatoes. I cut them in half. Just going to set them in here like this. That way my dinner will all be done at the same time. So, we will, like I said, I'm going to cook it on low for about six to eight hours. And I will show you when it is done. See you then. Okay, so it is ready. I'm taking my potatoes out. Putting them in a dish. looks really good. Smells really, really good. Alright. So, what we're going to do now is carefully, because it's hot, lift the meatloaf up out of the crock pot and kind of tilt it so it'll drain off some. Be very careful. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. All right. Then I'll show you what it looks like. Get this out of the way. still has a little bit of juice in it, but that's okay. I'll just do like that. And that way it'll run over to the potatoes. And there is my meatloaf. It's very easy. Give it a try. And I will see you for Veda Day 10 tomorrow. Bye. How was that? Very easy. And it smells really good in here. Um, I hope you enjoy. And the instructions and the recipe is down below in the description. Um, please thumbs it up if you like it. And pass it along to your family and friends. Um, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow for Veda Day 10. Bye-bye.